Hey everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. I'm your host Pikmin 72 and on this episode we're going to be unfortunately starting off with the annoying silver stars of the sea slide. I will be explaining why the star is so annoying. Pretty much it's a big fetch quest of five silver stars all around the sea slide. Everyone here is helping us look for those sea stars. I'm the one who's looking for the sea stars. You're not doing anything. Plus, the uh, camera controls, like you need to know that in the fifth dome of the game. I swam until my flippers couldn't flop anymore, but didn't see any silver stars anymore. That's one thing this, they do do in this uh, star. They give you hints through dialogue. Like that hint was saying that there aren't any in the wa water. They're all above water. Now we're going to be using the uh, B Mushroom Mario form a lot. Alright, now that's how you get the first one. Which is probably the easiest of them all to get. I'm gonna make sure you keep the B uh, Mushroom because it's going to be helpful. Oh yeah, I think I saw a silver star over there somewhere. So that one's telling us obviously where that silver star is. And really, it's not. The star isn't really so much annoying as it's just time consuming because you have to go around the entire sea slide looking for the five silver stars. Could have sworn something on the giant mangrove. That's another hint as to where they are. And this guy's telling us about the uh, middle island, which again has another one. And there's some bees here. D what? Okay, that's the same thing that other bee just told us at the other island, so that's weird. I yeah, can throw a blast, ha 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 puns. Alright, this time instead of going to the satellite like we did last time, we actually want to head for uh, the uh, star shoot. And then pick up the pick up the second star. Now, if you want to launch yourself like this and let go, there will be a life over here for that. And then just get on that, break it, and into the sling star. So. Moving on, we now have to head to the lighthouse area, where we... That was the end of the Cosmic Mario race. I mean, you can already see the bubble out there in the distance. And while we're going this, we really have nothing else to do. I guess I can talk about the, uh, Nintendo press conference yesterday at E3. Um, actually for this part you want to be regular Mario because B Mario can't pick up shells and you're gonna want that shell from the Koopa. Anyway, uh, besides the announcement of Pikmin 3 on Wii U, which thank the lord they finally announced that, it's been way too long, it wasn't really that great of a press conference. I mean, it w certainly wasn't bad, but it just wasn't as wowing as I thought. I mean, there's a whole bunch of Mario games. There's New Super Mario Bros. U, New Super Mario Bros. 2, and uh, if you want to go see the cap, you can shoot the Star. It was uh, Luigi Mansion 2, Paper Mario for DS, the sticker one. But, I mean, no Zelda, no Kirby, no Metroid, no Donkey Kong, no Star Fox, no F Zero, no anything. You're gonna wanna use that Sling Star after you get the third. Uh, silver star to go back here and then head for the tree but I mean what I found shocking was that the portion of the conference that was dedicated to the uh, 3ds which is only like 15 minutes long actually seemed more impressive than the entire Wii U conference part which isn't good I mean I'm still gonna get a Wii U but I'm not necessarily that psyched for it, because I don't really see that many games as ones I want. Be able to just climb the tree. Like, I can understand them uh, not putting out a new Zelda game or a Kirby game, because I mean, it was just Skyward Sword and uh, Return to Dreamland, and I'm gonna die if I keep trying to do this without the beat mushroom. So I'm gonna go get that. And I mean, I know what Nintendo's trying to do, 
they're trying to get more third party support and they're trying to get into more online things but they're not doing it very gracefully and uh oh crap this is this is one of the reasons i hate this stuff well this yeah this stuff because if you fall off this tree it's mostly this tree that i hate while we're over here we might as well make this a uh, water jet that goes to the central island but if you fall off that tree you have to go get another uh that's just telling us a hint for the one we already got. We have to go get another honey shroom or bee mushroom. This is another sling star back to the main island. And there's no bee mushroom around here. Because you need a bee mushroom to go on the clouds. You need a bee mushroom to get into the branch we did the first time. But I don't understand why they didn't put a bee mushroom over there. Like they put a bee mushroom in the tree, but not anywhere you can access it near the tree that's not actually on it. So I don't know why they did that. Anyway, back to the strange E3 conference. I mean, they, they had some third party games, but most of the third party games they showed were games that are already out, like back Batman Arkham Asylum, or Arkham City, sorry, uh, Mass Effect 3. That, that, like, it's already out, so no one really cares. I mean, there's like Zombie U, but it doesn't look that great. I, don't know, I, I really would have preferred them focus on their own franchises. And besides just Mario and Pikmin. And there's no excuse to not have a new Metroid game, especially after the disappointment of Other M. They could definitely bring her back and have her be more powerful. Anyway, after you get the uh, fourth Silver Star, you want to head into the Water Jet. That, that, that's my opinion on this conference. It wasn't bad, it just wasn't great. Alright, there's also Nintendo Land, whatever that is, but that hardly makes up for the lack of any of their more powerful franchises. So, it wasn't a great conference. It certainly wasn't 2008 bad, Wii Music crap. But, it's, as, I wasn't as impressed as I wanted to be. And it started off so well with Pikmin 3, too. Oh, well. Those are my thoughts. You can comment on your own thoughts, your disagreements, your agreements, I don't care. Come here, you stupid blue crab thing. Alright. So, this will give us uh, some classic Super Mario Bros. music. Like we've seen before. Just keep following these musical notes, and eventually we shall get a one up. Over there. Alright. Now, here we have the old penguin guy. Does that kind of hover up on the seaside? Yeah, because they're looking for the stuff. There's a whole bunch of starbits to be gotten up here using these flowers. And before I get the last silver star, what does it say? Pengu space. Okay, so this guy's name is Pengu, by the way. Uh, you learn something new every day. Alright. So grab the fifth uh, silver star, and then create a regular power star, and back to the beginning island. Luckily, a launch star appears, which will bring us right back to that first island when we use it. So. Or actually, it'll take us over here, but then this sling star will take us right back to that island, so... Same thing. Alright, so we finally got this star. In about the same amount of time it took us to get three stars last episode. But since the last episode was such a short episode, and this episode only got one star, I guess I'm gonna get one more star, at least, this episode. Because I know the next star I'm gonna be getting also takes a while. But at least it's... Not nearly as annoying as that one. Because it's in one of my favorite galaxies of the game. Which is... The Toy Time Galaxy. I love this galaxy because it has a lot of retro throwbacks to uh, the original Mario. So here we got Heavy Metal Mecha, heavy metal mecha Bowser. Because he's into Heavy Metal Rockin'. Alright. So... 
Again, silence at the beginning. And then suddenly... Oh, remix of the Overworld music from the original Super Mario Bros. Welcome to the Toy Time Galaxy. We Gilmills are in charge of upkeep and maintenance here. And... The Toad Brigade Captain here. I noticed we're seeing a lot of the Toad Brigade now. Like, in the second half of the game. Like, during the first half, they're almost absent. There's like one or two stars with them. And then, like, the past three or four stars have all involved the Toads. That's my observation. Anyway. Here we can go through a gear. And under these... Islands. Here we have... Uh... Mecha Bowser's going back to the Mecha Bowser's in Bowser's Castle of uh, Super Mario World that you he threw out of his clown call thing, and you had to throw at him to kill him. Now you can also uh, come over here and wall jump up here for one up. And there's also this guy over here. But he doesn't really say anything important. He just says that our friends are trapped. And let's not kill ourselves. I said not kill ourselves! Jerk. Alright, pretend that didn't happen. That didn't just happen. Good thing I got the one up, so it didn't really matter. Anyway. So, obviously, we have some uh, shifting gravity physics again. Which is always fun. Any where well, you see these pink hexagon patches, uh, you can flip gravity, and then any screws you see, you can spin them, and they will reveal some secrets. Now here, the little known secret: if you go off this and onto this platform, and onto this red one, and back here, you'll find a life shroom. I only found that out in one of my more recent runs of the, this game, because I never would have thought to come back here. So, clever design by the creators, and that was a little too close. Luckily, that fan was there. Anyway, I'm up here onto this. I screw that in to stop it and get some more stars. Then, unscrew this to open that. But we can't get to there from here, we have to go the other way. Yes. Stupid laser things. Those laser things are really annoying. Because they, they don't. They, you can't kill them. They're impossible to kill. What do you guys say? Grab those fire breathing. Yeah, ground pounding the turtles, as I already showed. Well, so unscrew that bolt. And then screw in this bolt. To create that platform. And then head over here and get into launch star, the launch is up here. And then there's some star bits on the way over to here. And now going over here, we hit this question mark coin. A new power-up uh, is activated. Spring Mario! One of my favorite power-ups in this game, although it is kinda hard to Control. It's my second favorite power up in my game. Actually, we haven't seen my favorite yet. It's weird that they waited until the fifth dome to introduce the power up. But I mean, whatever. I always like the Spring Mario, even though I do agree it's really hard to control and I do get a lot of accidental deaths using it. Because I, I always think that I can turn around faster than I usually can, and I don't always have the best depth perception with it, I, as you can see, because I can't even hit this simple block there we go. You can also ground pound with it, and what do you gotta say? That's it, to the skies. Well, we're in space, so to the lack of air. Yeah! And, as you can see, you don't have the best control with the spring. I have to concede that. Anyway, moving on past these conveyor belts, you can come up here, bounce up here, and into this pipe for a little mini game. Here you're gonna want to bounce up 
leveled with out killing we're killing as few bricks as possible because once you get to the top there will be a coin when you hit that coin all the bricks turn into stone bricks I would have preferred that they made it a peace witch instead because that would have made more sense turning bricks into stone bricks although I guess peace witches did technically turn bricks into coins but still I mean with everything else being retro here they could have uh, done that now here you want to want to leave one box because if you bounce on top of it, which is not quite that easy to do, come on. Oh, well! If you don't destroy all the boxes like I just did, you can hit that one that keeps showing up on the top of the screen, and it'll just give you more star bits. Not really that important. And actually, thank you, laser bot thing, for making my movement much easier. Even though I do love bouncing around. So. Moving on here, you're just going to want to bounce here and try to avoid the uh, laser bot laser. Luckily, once he starts firing in one line, he can't move that line very well. Kind of like a Beamus in Legend of Zelda. That's what I always compared them to. Alright, and one thing about Spring Mario is that he cannot survive in launch stars. Here we have a classic 8-bit Mario. He'll come into more relevance a little bit later. And then there's this planet, which is supposed to be teaching us that we can ground pound with the spring, even though we don't actually have to, we can just ground pound with regular mode. Alright, once you're all done, grab the spring, and bounce up here to destroy this, and then get into this launch star, which will launch us over to the toy robot boss thing. Alright, start on the uh, left side, and I ha have to say that I love this music. You want to screw in this bolt. Then go up to this pipe, which will take you to the other leg. And then screw in this bolt. That'll make us a sling star. Which will put us onto the next level. Here you want to screw these four bolts. So pretty much what we're doing is we're taking apart this uh, robot because that's where the Geomodes or Gizmos or whatever they are uh, friends are locked up. And once we destroy all those, that panel will go away, revealing a hidden area here. Be careful because these inner areas do not have sideways gravity, they have regular gravity. Alright then jump in this pipe. I'm going to ignore these guys. Actually, now I'm going to ground pound one. I'm going to get on the arm, which exact isn't exactly the easiest thing to do. If you want that, uh, question mark log, stand about here. Make sure you get under the, uh, shadow, and then do that. Anyway, now that we're done spazzing out, if you head up here, you can unscrew this hand, or shoulder actually, and that will detach the entire joint, so you want to quickly jump into this launch dome. Don't be afraid of uh, falling back down, because a platform will activate that allows you back up. Don't think you have to start the entire star over just because you fall off. Now before we go onto the top, you can head over to this arm over here and up to here for one up. But this does uh, not allow you back the way you came, so you're gonna have to go back through the pipe. And then instead of going to the left, because there's no arm here anymore, you're gonna wanna wait over here for the platform to come down. This one right here. Heading back up. Now you're gonna wanna head this way. I wouldn't recommend getting the spring molly over there because that'll just uh, make it hard to dodge those fireballs. Instead, get this one on the neck or collar, I guess, because it's spiked. Then bounce up here or don't. Again, not exactly the 
Because it controls. Ow! And... I wonder if you can do this without... Alright, so you're supposed to use the Spring Mario to get up here. But you can just use it with regular Mario too. And then you fall down to the center of the robot, destroying it. And I don't see how the robot exploding wouldn't also hit us because we were inside the robot when it was exploding. Whatever. Good job! You did it! I guess I owe you a thanks. And why is this guy all the way over here? I thought we were done for. Yeah, well, you were. Alright, we got a star. And that's gonna do it for this episode. I know it was only a two star episode, but I mean, each star is averaging over 10 minutes, so. You can. shut up. Two stars is fine. So, next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, we're gonna be heading back to the Toy Time Galaxy and doing more stars there. See you guys then.